Hey, what's up everyone? We're gonna have some fun today. We are going to do some stuff with Cubase VST Amp Rack. It is the included guitar simulator. So uh, let's say you didn't have this amp rack. We'll just get rid of this stuff. So I can start from scratch. So I've laid down a couple of uh, bass tracks. It's just one bass track I've duplicated and then a drum line. So what we'll do is uh, here, for these are my three amp racks, I'll add amp rack. So I'll just search VST amp rack. There it comes up. Click on it. Oh, I had Q-Link off. So let's try that again with Q-Link on. There we go. So we can move this mix console out of the way and we'll start on the left and let's uh i'll show you three different ways to use amp rack the first will be just to use a preset the second will be to develop a tone from scratch and then the third will be to use a preset and then tweak it to your own needs so for the preset one let's take a listen to one that i have picked out called power chords two and let me grab my guitar hold on Black and white, no, yo. Okay, so we have a preset power chords loaded. Not bad. All right, so let's play our song real quick. This is going to be the rhythm track. So. Uh, let's see, let's go through here. We have pre-effects in this preset. There's an equalizer. The amplifier it's using is the lead plexi uh, set up like this. The cabinet is the diamond, which I believe is a Mesa Boogie clone. The post effects are nothing. The microphone it's using is leaning more towards a large diaphragm condenser as opposed to this uh, SM57 type thing. So it's 7525 and it's dead center. Uh, and here's the configuration, your signal chain, if you will. And then we go to the master, and one thing you can do uh, in VST Amp Rack is tune, so let's do that real quick. Never hurts the tune. No, that looks close enough. Hey. Cool. I tuned beforehand, so. I think we'll call that close enough. This one's a little sharp, but whatever. So let's play our songs. Undo the tuning. Here we go, folks. Hey, that was fun. So let's do that again, because we're doubling. But this time we will open up the other amp rack. And this is what it sounds like initially, I think. So we go to our next track, open up this amp rack, and let's go through. I think maybe we'll put an overdrive. That sounds chill. We'll add some grit. And I didn't actually plan this out, but a good thing to put in sometimes is a gate. And we can just put the threshold I don't know, just so it doesn't get too loud. The amplifiers, let's try something different since we tried the plexi lead. We'll try the Mesa Boogie with a plexi cabinet. How does that sound? And then we can adjust the parameters here. So. It's got that Mesa Boogie sort of tone. I don't know if you'd call it exactly. Uh, do we need any post effects? Not really. I can't think because it's a rhythm track. So... The microphones. Uh, we'll put it more towards this side and back a little bit. Whoa. What happened? Oh, it changed my amplifier on me. So we'll add a little bass. We'll scoop a little mid. That sounds good. And now let's record, huh?
Cool enough. And uh, for the final thing, we want to do a lead. So we'll take monitoring off there. We'll add it here. We'll open up this amp rack. And I said we were going to uh, tweak a preset. So let's find a good preset. Uh, I think typing in lead might be a good thing to do. Classic lead, nosy lead, rods lead, sweet bluesy lead, ultra lead, classic lead. Sounds like it might work. <coughs> Already love it. So here's the pre-effects. I think we can leave all this stuff the same. Maybe take down some of that drive. Oh, let's boost it back up. Cool. And this is, again, the plexi with the post effects. I think that delay is a little too strong, so let's bring that down. No reverb. Yeah, we'll turn off the reverb. We'll bring the delay time down, maybe even more. I like it. So now we have a tone, uh, an Amparac tone. So let's record a lead. Here we go, folks. take care of most of our guitar playing, so let's get into Cubase and do this. All right, so with all that recorded, let's take a listen to all this stuff that's going on here and do a little bit of mixing just to finish off this project. So my uh, microphone cut out, but I can explain what happened here. Uh, let's just get back in. So when I started mixing, I uh, <laughs> took down the rhythm guitars about 5 dB or so. And then I went through on all three of the guitar tracks and I added a high pass filter. I started by doing it that way, but then I decided to do it the right way and switch those things in the EQ rack to a high pass filter. No harm, no foul. And uh, once I got all the high pass filters rocking and rolling uh, exactly the way that I wanted them, Then I took the rhythm tracks and I panned them hard left and hard right. And the result is what you hear that follows. Not bad, sounds good to my ears. So that is a quick tutorial on how to use VST Amp Rack. I hope you enjoyed it, folks. Bye bye